worship Him. Walk to a thousand people and tell them His name is called Emmanuel, the God who is together with us. Emmanuel, the God who is together with us. I will never leave you nor forsake you. The God of the mountain is still the God of the valley. There's nothing in your life that can change his presence. Put your hands together for him. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate Emmanuel. Ah, we worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 16. Acts 16. Uh, Pastor Victor moved for me this a little bit when I come down then you will return it because the flag of Kenya has covered the screen up there but don't uh, change it it is prophetic glory to God Acts 16 let's try verse 10 going down Verse 10 is too far. Let's try verse 13. And on the Sabbath day, we went out of the city to the riverside where prayer was customarily made. And we sat down and we spoke to the women who met there. Now, a certain woman named Lydia had us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Thyatira who worshipped God. The Lord opened her heart to heed the things that were spoken by Paul. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. And so she persuaded us. Now it happened as we went to prayer. Okay, now we are going to prayer again. Uh, uh, if you look at the, the entire life of Paul and Silas, Things were happening while they were either going to prayer or coming from prayer or while they were praying. I tell three people they were either going to prayer, they were coming from prayer, or they were praying. So these guys were praying after prayer and praying after prayer. Now, let's stay on verse 15. There will be a great debate whether Lydia is born again or not because uh, we are being told that she worshipped God. But don't forget there are good men who worship God and good women who worship God even without being saved. There are good people that are not saved. There are terribly wicked people who are born again. As a matter of fact, I would want to say this on TV, on Facebook Live, on radio, and uh, say this without fear. I have always warned my daughters have nothing to do with a man that is not born again. But I also have reasons to tell you. There are men who are not saved. That you can't compare ten brothers who are born again with them. And they are not saved. He will never beat you. He will never insult your mother. He will never insult your brothers. 
He will guide you. He will counsel you. He will be a brother. He will be a father. He will be a lover. Just that he goes and takes one bottle and comes back and he never fights. And they are born again brothers that when they begin to argue from 9 a.m. in the morning, he will curse your father, your mother, your sisters and add fire to it and say, even Pastor Lo said, and you think this thing is ending. Midnight, it is not ending. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't talk and he's there, wicked yet born again. Sir, as I journey through life and as I preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, I can tell you there are good men who are not saved. And there are wicked people who are preaching the gospel. Very wicked. Dangerously wicked, yet preaching the gospel. In fact, any verse they see is always to look for how to use it to bring someone down. So the fact that Lydia worshipped God, there's a lot of arguments, was she born again or not born again? Well, that is not my subject. But I want you to know uh, that Lydia worshipped God, a lover of God. L let's go to the... <laughs> and let's go to... Let's look at this in the message translation. Please, you can be seated in the presence of God and keep your eyes on the screen. Now, one woman, Lydia, from Thyatira, a dealer in what kind of textile? Let's read again. One, two, three, go. Verse number 14. Message translation. One, two, three, go. Is that how you behave in political rallies? We go again, one, two, three, go. Okay. Mm. A dealer in expensive textile, textiles, known to be a God-fearing woman, as she listened with intensity to what was being said, the master gave her a trusting heart. Now listen, she had never believed before. She just loved God and loved to worship God. And she was, you, you know, rich people are always cool. She just loved God and she loved to worship the Lord. And you know, she was a God-fearing woman. But it is now that God is giving her a trusting heart to believe. She loved God before. She enjoyed worshiping God before. And anything to do with God, she strongly feared God. But God had not yet given her a trusting heart to believe. John 1.12 was not yet real in her life. The Lord had not yet given her a trusting heart to believe. And that's why after she believes, then Paul is going to baptize her. Okay, let's look at it. So one woman, Lydia, from Thyatira, a dealer in expensive textiles, uh, textiles are known, are, are known to be what? A God-fearing woman. As she listened with intensity to what was being said, the master gave her a trusting heart and she believed. After she was baptized, along with everyone in her household, she said, in a surge of hospitality, if you are confident that I'm in this with you and believe in the master truly, come home with me and be my guests. You know why they hesitated? Because this is a newly born again woman. She has just received the Lord. So that's why they hesitated. Because this is a new believer. God has just given her a trusting heart. She has just given her life to Jesus. I don't know who taught her. Nobody has taught her. Nobody has guided her. Nobody has put her in foundation class. But she already knows that God's people are people to 
beg to come to your house. She feared God. There are things that God already shared with her that even believers did not know. Born again day one. He's telling the man of God, come to my house. Come to my house. She's feeling an anointing for hospitality. Look at this. If you are confident that I'm in this with you and believe in the master truly, come home with me and be my guest. We hesitated, but she wouldn't take no for an answer. Good people. Just got and born again. Good people. Come home and uh, 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 come home with me and be my guest. We hesitated, but she wouldn't take no for an answer. Verse number 16. Let's leave that. So Lydia takes this man of God down to her house. God has just given her a trusting heart. And immediately she has trusted the Lord. There is an uncontrollable hospitality in her heart. Because she had always feared God. I, I shared about Cornelius also that was not really born again. But was a giver. And the Bible calls him a good man. A good man that wasn't saved. That wasn't a believer. That was always helping the poor. And was a man that had a habit of prayer. Let's go to Cornelius as well. Was always helping the poor. And the man had a habit of prayer. Somebody say habit of prayer. It is amazing how born again people have no time for God. When people that are not born again have time for God. The things you have access to you take for granted. It is true that when it is available, you easily take it for granted. Now look at this. Give me message translation. <laughs> there was a man named Cornelius who lived in Caesarea, captain of the Eternal Guard stationed there. Look at verse number two. He was a thoroughly good man. Everybody say, a thoroughly good man. Every single sister say, a thoroughly good man. Say it with me, Lord, give me a good man. You'll meet one wicked man. Every day counseling. Man of God, man of God, man of God, man of God. Now I'm telling you to say you are not saying it. You are single here and you are a sister. Say, Lord, give me a good man. Now this was not just a good man. This was a thoroughly good man. He had led everyone in his house to live worshipfully before God. Was always helping people in need and had the habit of prayer. And he was not born again. He becomes the first Gentile to be saved. Actually, God sent an angel to him to tell him he's not saved. And God was not going to save him directly from heaven. So God, <laughs> so God sent an angel to him that he may send for the man that will lead him to Christ. There are people that are so good that God makes their salvation experience a wonder. Hallelujah. But Cornelius, God sends, God sends an angel from heaven to come and tell him that now send for the man that will lead you to Christ. Because he was a thoroughly good man. But let's come back to Lydia. Ladies and gentlemen, if Paul did not go down there to lead Lydia to Christ and bring her into the kingdom of God, Paul could have not experienced the generosity that Paul experienced. I want to tell you as a believer, when you come into the kingdom of God, when you come into this kingdom where we are, your number one agenda must not be you. If you want not to have the things you are after, then make them an agenda. Your agenda must not be you. There is a way this kingdom is wired. 
There is a way this kingdom is built. There are places you go and God will begin to be generous to you. There are agendas you keep as your priority and God will begin to provoke some things in your life. But there are also things you pursue and you will never get them. This kingdom. Let me not come into this kingdom. Let me come into marriage a little bit. Do you know that the joy of marriage has nothing to do with what you want? Do you know that if you want to enjoy marriage, you must forget about you? And then you will find you. Do you know if you want a woman to die for you, you must not put her down there and tell her, promise, I'm the only man in your life. You will die. You know, the woman will be asking in her mind, die for you for what? The woman will be saying, give me a reason to die for you. Give me a reason to be concerned about you. Try to find the punch on this one. This one, everything is okay, but there's no punch on that one. The woman will be saying, give me a reason to die with you. Now let me say this. Ladies and gentlemen, marriage is not about you. And if you come into marriage with you as the agenda, you will be frustrated till you die. That I just want somebody to love me. Somebody who will take me for a holiday. Somebody who will celebrate my birthday. Somebody who will help my parents. Somebody who will stand with me through the thick and the thin. Somebody that will be there for me. Somebody that will celebrate my brothers. Someone that will treat me right. Someone that will make me beautiful. Someone that will praise me before people. Someone that will just be there. The best man ever. And that was I pray for. Jehovah, as I begin to pray, as I begin to clap my hands, I claim him. You'll claim him until you die. He doesn't exist. The joy of marriage is not about you. If you make the joy of marriage about the other person, my brother, your harvest will be better than the joy that you have given in that marriage. Can I hear an amen in the house of God? Tell your neighbor, marriage is not about you. There is no man anywhere that is going to treat you right. Men are made to treat women right. Every day you wake up my husband. People are taking their wives for holidays. When was the last time I was taken for holiday? When was the last time you even had me in the public? When was the last time you praised me in a funeral? And the man is wondering, this one that you are now demanding praise, something is wrong. Because the virtuous woman, now why am I going so much into marriage? The, the Bible talks about the virtuous woman and the Bible says her husband praises her. You know why? Because she does him good good all the days so the praise is not forced the praise is springing from the good that this woman is doing i came to tell you that that good man you want to love you the rest of your life has nothing to do with that good man it has something to do with you you are the architect of the marriage that you're going to enjoy we will never teach you how to enjoy marriage the day you make up your mind that it is about serving the other person is the day you will have signed your ticket to a happy home no man can die for a woman that doesn't do him good. Proverbs 31. Take me there. She does the man good all the days of the man's life. And as a result of that, the man praises his wife. Sir, men don't praise nothing. That ever since we entered this relationship, have you ever taken me to Mombasa? Have you ever even introduced me before people? Have you ever held my hands to church? Have you ever made me expensive? Have you ever done for me expensive hair? Have you ever brought me an expensive cologne? When you begin to demand for it, you are useless. Useless people demand special treatment. See the cars other women are driving. I'm your wife, a millionaire, for crying out loud. Look at what I'm driving. Look at my phone. Always looking like a thief in the life of your husband. When will you treat me right? Sir. And a man who also behaves. I'm going to offend you this morning. And a man who also behaves. Let me tell you my daughters. The reason you are always left. Is because you behave more like a thief. 
you want praise, you want to be treated right, you want to be considered, you want the man to consider you above his brothers and above his sisters, you want to be special and you keep telling him, I want to know that I'm better than your brothers, I want to know that I'm better than your sisters, I want to know that you can choose me over your mother. Have you done what the mother never did? What difference have you made in his life that the mother could not make? Sir, men don't just love their wives. And let me tell you this, they are cheating men that love their wives to death. Because cheating has nothing to do with the person you are cheating on. It has something to do with the cheat. So as a woman, when your husband cheats, don't kill yourself. What, what, what do I lack? What did I do? I saw that woman. She's not half myself. You are not a problem. The problem is with the cheat. Because men cheat because they lack self-esteem. Because the devil, the devil has succeeded with the wrong marketing strategy. Satan has taken what they have and turned it this way and told them you don't have this. They say it is true. When anyone becomes disloyal to you as a pastor, it has nothing to do with you. It is their nature. People don't hurt you because you did anything wrong. Sometimes people hurt you because it is a nature they cannot change. They are like that. that. Do me well. Do me good. Show the world. It's my birthday. Now tell the world how much you love me. You are a thief and a cook. I'm trying to make a very important point using marriage. It is not what you are looking for that you will find. It is what you have become that you will attract. Can I move on a little bit? Now, I want the exact verse. She does him good all the days of his life. It is there, okay? Look at this. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. The Bible says, and her husband praises her. So, sir, the praise is not for nothing. The praise is born out of the good. The man is remembering, if I never married this lady, if I never walked her down the aisles, the man is looking at his life and the man is taking stock and he's saying, when I look at what I've achieved because I married this girl, when I look at what I've become because I married this girl, when I look at the connections I've walked in because I married this girl, then the praise just comes out of the mouth automatically. So it is, this is a woman that has made it not her agenda to be praised. She has made her agenda to do the husband good. She knows the secret. You can date a man for 10 years and another lady can walk in for only one month and marry him. Because for 10 years you are a liability. And listen, not that men are looking for a, man, for a woman to support them. Don't misunderstand me. There's a way to be helped to a man. Leave alone money. A man cannot walk away from his help. But a man will walk away from any beautiful leprosy. If all you are carrying into a relationship is your beauty, you are finished. All of you agree that you think you are beautiful until you meet a beautiful girl. Unarudi kwa kiyo kujiangalia tena. Hey. Ya mato bear you had. Ya mano uchwe ya hawa. You go back to the mirror. Ay. I thought I have a mouth. I thought I have a head. I thought I had hair. Unanguza nyuele yako tena. Because beauties will never end. But sir, character is rare. Don't miss what I'm coming to teach you for a few Sundays. It's not about relationship. Because that one stuck your I let our wengi apakan san. The for some time have not been touching on relationship for some time. In a letanga wakora wengi sana kan san. What you will find has nothing to do with you pursuing it. 
It has something to do with what you have become. Sir, men are not chained by being monitored. A man can cheat and you'll never find it in the phone. Real cheats are not discovered when they are alive. It is discovered when they are dead. When another woman walks in with three boys, taller than him, that even as the woman is walking in, you say, hey, hey, hey. Who in your cousin is Hey, hey, because a real cheat cannot be caught. The ones that are caught are loyal men. A man you can catch while cheating, thank God. Real cheats are not caught. Real cheats are caught when they die. Because he can bring the co wife to be your next door neighbor. Who can talk about safari? Unamwambia, eh, mama nani uniangalilie muse, wakisho memche musha rice, you know you are my friend, and check on my children. Kumbe, that is the co-wife. You will never suspect. A real co-wife can be your best friend. Real cheats are dangerous. Thank God if you catch your husband cheating, he's a good man. Only good men are caught cheating. A real cheat can forget his phone at home for three days. You'll never suspect anything. Comes back home early. Loves you. Cries to God. Loves the children. Can meet the girlfriend. Hata kushtuka, hata shtuka. Hi, how are you? Meet my wife. Kumbe, it is your co-wife. Both of them are playing you. Somebody say, Hey! Niseme ama nisiseme. If, if you think it's a lie, live for a while. Continue living. You'll understand what I'm saying. Real cheats are not caught. He's already telling you there is something going on. That's a good man. We come Isaac. We grew up with a young guy called Isaac. And when the grandmother would go to the farm, he would go and eat fish that remained. So when the grandmother comes back, he says, Isaac! In other words, he's <laughs> the grandmother is calling him. He's telling the grandmother, Grandma, I have not entered that house since morning. He does not know why he's being called. That is a good man. That's a cheat that you can catch. A real cheat tells you, honey, real cheats don't have lock cords on their phones. They are too dangerous to be suspected. So if all you know is you sat somewhere and some marriage counselor taught you 17 signs to detect a cheating man, you're still a baby. Cheating men are not caught. You will never know, but adventure they die. A real cheat can manage six wives and you'll never know. Because nothing is lacking, nothing goes down, nothing is wanting. The love is intact. They commit. <laughs> Somebody say, hey! She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. So, sir, the praise that this woman is being praised is not for free. This is a woman that has learned how to hold the husband aquetras. She's meeting the needs of the man. The man cannot be delivered from him. The man opens his mouth, he's praising his wife. Why? Because this woman, the marriage is not about her. If you make marriage about you, let me tell you, you'll be frustrated for life because marriage is not about you. The service you get in marriage is based on the service you give. The honor that comes back to you in marriage is the honor you give. Give a woman peace. Women receive and multiply. Ukimpatia seed, anabeba miezitisa, anakupatia mtoto. If you give her trouble, ataibeba for some time, she will give you calamity. Because women give what you give them. That's right. You need to understand that. And a man becomes what you give him. There's no automatically good marriage anywhere. Let nobody deceive you. Don't kill yourself in prayer. If you are not willing to become the things you are praying for, if you are not willing to become those points that you are listing, if you are not willing to carry peace into a man's home and carry character and carry unity there and carry progress and development there, you have dated a man only for three months. His brother that was weird has come back home. They are asking, how did he come? That we don't know how Mary talked to him. He's already on a race to unite the family. 
The elders are already telling you, you can't leave this girl. She has dated you for only three months. You are never talking to your mother. Now you are talking. Your sister you have not seen in nine years. You are looking for each, each other. You've never thought of ever even buying a plot of land. Now you have two plots. You have only dated her for six months. Sir, she's going nowhere. And even if you leave her and collect another one, you look for her. You, since a man began dating you, my nails, you are not taking care of me. Who told you? Hmm? I want somebody who can take care of me. Because we will go to Apo, I want somebody who can take care of me. You see, this is my body. By the time a man takes care of me, can't you take care of yourself at this age? That by the time a man will take care of me, you are, men are running away from trouble. And you are carrying your trouble being taken care of. <laughs> what am I trying to say in... in <laughs> What I'm trying to say is this. You will never find what you have not given. Never. No matter how much you pray that your husband will praise you, men praise women on the grounds of the things that women have done. And the husband praises her. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. And give me, and the husband praises her. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Wapendwa, at our toto, ni son. They must have a reason to call you blessed. They'll not just say, oh, you are the best dad in the world. They don't just say those things. Look at this. Her children rise up and call her blessed. And her husband also, he praises her. Why, sir, this woman has earned that praise. Now listen. She was not looking for praise. She gave the man good. And good became. Talk to me. She gave the man good and good became praise. Wicked girls are not saying it anymore. She gave the man good and good became. Ask a fellow single sister, since you began dating this man, what? how can you date a man for six years? And the only thing a man can count off that you have done is socks. On his birthday. Hulinunulia mwanaume socks kwa birthday. Umeja scriptures cha mwanamke anafaa kuchungwa mwanamke anafaa kubembelezwa mwanamke anafaa ku taken care of you know is the responsibility of a man to take care of a woman the one we are reading about is she homosexual that does the man good dio maana umekwama dio maana umekauka dio maana wao unapata mtu wa kukudate for only 3 days abomination drops you like hot potato calamity a man dates you for one month, he makes the calculation of what he has spent on you and all you have contributed in his life are emojis. Emoji contributor. When you start chatting, you chat like a typewriter. Every time you begin high, he knows kuna long you mahali. You need to collect. There are some nails. Your nail just got broken while you are trying to wash utensils. He's supposed to replace it. That's why a man begins a relationship in high spirits. After only two weeks, you are the one asking him, is something wrong? Are you okay? Are you right? You are not as jovial as before. After you dent 50,000 in two days, how will he be jovial? A thief, a crook, a con woman. Nitawaambia ukipenda ujinyonge. Social media life ukipenda uhame. Lakini Kenya hii nitakuambia ukweli. May your mother teach you how to be a blessing to a man. Karazadege basada. Listen to me sisters, I'm not saying that you begin to date a man and you have released 1 million. No. I'm saying 
you are my daughter, you have to be intelligent and wise. He paid the first dinner. The second, he said, hey, honey, don't worry, I'll pay. He said, hey, in this generation, that even car, women that drive Mercedes Benz, when I caught them, pack up my pennies in my back, I'm going to bring it. One can still pay for dinner. Ha! What kind of a girl is this? Okay, we have a trip to Mombasa, honey. Are you, are you, you, you are fixing this? I'm fixing this. You're just being intelligent. One of the things that have made men run away from you is because many of you are capital liabilities. You date the first day, the second day, the third day, you already talk about all the problems in your mother's village. A whole girl. That is the, what is dominating the conversation. My grandmother just swallowed a spoon. <laughs> my uncle swallowed a spade. The sister to my aunt is being buried. I don't even know how I'm going to travel. The man is already stressed. Just kukatu na kwa meza. Akona stress. The kind of prayer points you are throwing in church during prayer. Pastor, I saw one that is like, Nikama na behave, nikama tanioa. Pastor by fire, he must marry me. You are the obstacle to those prayers you are praying. You are a liability and... Somebody say, Hey! Hadi, say, be stupid. But sir, madam, my dear sister, my dear daughter, there is something you can do. Stop being a liability. So what do I do if I'm jobless? Did I tell you to steal? <laughs> the reason why some of you are not married and you keep saying that pastor at Kings here, they are no men. <laughs> All brothers on Kupima. Nobody wants to collect you as a liability. You are a serious liability. At a royal banqueting Sunday, the way you behave with food, brothers are just watching you. You are a serious liability. Unakula unaenda pale mahali una serve chakula unaambiwa chapati zimeisha unarudia ndugu mwenye alikuwa anakuangalia ni kama anaweza kukuoa unamwambia brother you collected three give me two you have already finished your own chapati you collect two more chapati from your brother the brother say wow she has eaten that <laughs> if paul did not go down to wherever to preach to Lydia, Paul could have not enjoyed that hospitality. Things don't just happen. Things don't just happen. I want to ask you a question. Ever since you were born again, how many people have you preached? And every day are telling God, I want a God-fearing man, totally saved. Who did you give the assignment to preach to the person to come and marry you? Don't you know that you can go out on soul winning and win the brother that will marry you? What do you think is a joke? That Dr. Yusuf that came here, it is the wife that preached to him. It is the wife that led him to Christ. You see her singing on DVTV. It is that mama that led that man of God to Christ. Won her to Christ. Followed her up. Mentored her walked through with her as a young believer. Today, he's the pastor to the wife. He says, if I want mama to do anything I want her to do, I just threaten her that I'll backslide because she's my pastor. And she'll be scared. She led the husband to Christ. Wewe, kuna wengine, unataka waubiria watu, waokoke, wafanyue follow-up, wafanyue foundation, wafundishwe maombi, wawe proper Christians, you, your work is to carry your legs and marry them. May the Lord slap you. Somebody say, Hey! Uliza jani yako umeubiria wangapi? You are praying here for a God-fearing man. How many God, how many men have you made fear God? <laughs> that, 
that the Lord will show me generosity. What, what happens if the generosity you are praying for is with someone that needs to hear the gospel? The house Paul needed to live in was with a lady that needed to hear the gospel. So much I've said about marriage. Marriage is not about you. If you decide to take everything you are praying for and give it to your wife, you will have double what you are looking for. Take all the loyalty you are looking for as a man and give it to your wife. Take all the love you feel you should be loved as a man, give it to your wife. Take all the care you feel you should get as a man, give it to your wife. Take all the respect you think you deserve as a man, give it to your wife. You know what will happen? It will come back to you. First Peter chapter 3 verse 7. And believers, listen to me. There are things God has hidden in us going beyond thinking about ourselves. E kingdom to kondani, kuna vitu kita kuona, forget about yourself. And the moment you forget about yourself, those things will come like a joke. The reason many of us are not having them is because we are going after them. We are looking for them. We are fighting for them. We want them at all costs and we'll never have them. You know what I'm intending to teach? I want to teach you soul winning a little bit. If your concern will shift from you to somebody else, kila wakati unacheza gita yako kwa soul winning, God will begin to bless you. When souls become your agenda, God will preserve your own soul. Today all pastors are fighting for are, on, are converted members. Nani amechukua shirika wangu? Na hata yeye yazo wa shirika anapigania pia aliokota kwa makanisa zingine. Merry go round of souls. Fishing from fish ponds. Nobody wants to go in the deep waters and catch I saw that guy that was being born again with the dreadlocks in Bungoma. How many of you help me? You saw that guy with the dreads on his head. His eyes looking dangerous. Nikajipika kifua kindani nikasema mwana wa ulo hii ni samaki nzuri hii. Sagadiba ragada. Yaani nilishika ukela magwambo in the deep waters. How can God not bless me? I didn't come for communion service and someone just sent me 80,000. He said, Pastor, take a glass of soda. I saw how hard you worked in Bungoma. Siku gawia Simon, haku disadia kubiri. Yani, mungu wakaona, na pumzika bada ya crusade. Akasema, let me encourage you. 80,000 for, so, for soda. Why will I not go for souls? If one bottle of soda will be 80k, sir, I'm ready to go again. I said, Lord, where else do you want me to go? Somebody say, ah, I will go after souls. What am I teaching you? Forget your prayer needs. Forget what you want. Forget about yourself. And obey the vision and go down to Macedonia. Lead Lydia to Christ. Just Lydia only. Lydia is a house. You know why you are broke? You are not a soul winner. You know why you are seated here? I'm a soul winner. If you want to argue, I already warn you. Look at where you are sitting. Uliazaje kunifuata? Hati pasta mina fuata Yesu. Ulisikia Yesu wakiongea kwa nyumba yako? Sini sauti yangu ulisikia? Uka nifuata ngo longo 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 chutu chutu nyaka kandonyi luangyo luo jareji. Ukaaja uka kaa hapa. I've already won. Look at the things I'm teaching you. My reward is already sure. But what about you? From January until now. Ni wangapi umeleta kwa ufalmi? How many people can you ponder this was a dangerous sinner and led him to Christ? What happens when you walk into an interview panel under the anointing of the Holy Ghost? And the interviewer begins to behave like this. And you say, people chaff katika jina la Yesu. Undoka. Hey! 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 Nema itoshi. I love to tell him, sit down, sir, now interview me. Say, you have the job now. Why should I? You have the job. Why should I? You know, many of you have not made your work easy. Soul winning is the way to make your work easy. When you become a soul winner, you are, you are, you are, your hospitality is in your soul winning. Lydia is begging. If you will ever be begged in life, you must be a soul winner. You must be a soul winner. Let me take it again to the realm of work. How many of you know you are never employed to carry out 
the how do you call it the job description right they give you a job description how many of you know that is not is never about the job description is about the man that is giving you the job description how many of you know that how many of you know that no matter how good you are you can't be in constant conflicts with your boss over the right thing you could be right but he will mark you that sir based on what they taught me in england no you can't do that i forbid you by the authority conferred on me in this office you will not do that i'm not approving that and it is true you are given the authority and it is true you are acting out of your right but can i tell you the truth your place has been advertised even as you are speaking grammar there because it is never about the job description and it's never about that office it's about who put you there i repeat again is not about you if you can find the weakness of god you are the strongest man ever alive if you find out what god loves and you begin to supply it you will not struggle for your needs you are not born again for you you are born again for him and i want to show you the weakness of god is other men that are not saved go after them and god will decorate your life where are you coming from their neighbors were not saved never go to church fighting all night coming back drunk all you are saying is backfire demon of drunkenness backfire the 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 apartment where you are living there is a girl that goes to the streets at night and all you are praying is that the lord should remove her from that apartment i chase her by fire wicked people will not live here and god has brought them that you may lead them to christ mungu amekuletea samaki unafukuza samaki with your holier than thou attitude i saw a preacher insulting the dress code of people in a crusade and people are clapping for him he said look at a foolish man a crusade is not a place to insult them you don't prepare fish before you catch it you catch the fish first that's why all these crusades are called jesus crusade we're not going there to preach our car to preach where we live to preach ourselves give them jesus when jesus catches them bring them in and with time they will begin to learn oh you don't wear that oh you don't do that oh you don't say that oh everybody dresses here like that i think i need to go that direction but you don't go to the crusade now once kutukana skirts our mama dunia imeisha angalia wa mama na zile vitu wamevaa in a crusade what is wrong with you now where will you know hizo mango zimewabana i thought you were born again Somebody say, hey! Tell your neighbor, I'm going to be a soul winner after this. Let me show you this. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have introduced it. It is never about you. In a ministry like this, or when you are dealing with the spiritual father, I've learned from experience is always not about you. The more you remove you from the way, the more you attract the grace of the house. I've learned that. I've learned that. I've learned you can become so big by getting yourself out of the way. And I've learned you can die before your time by trying to make a statement all the all the time. is never about you I've learned you cannot become the man you are to become until you die for another man everybody has their time to shine a day will come you'll shine on your own you'll be the senior pastor you'll be the CEO of Karis television station a day will come you are the one coming in that is the man of God Dr. Victor himself Say, but I used to see me the low. Ha, he served, his time came. Now he's shining. But many people want to shine and they are still. <laughs> Baba. You are playing with your father's toys and he's calling you and they're saying you not go. And your father bought the toys. Did you understand what I said? 
At the Baba come, mm. you don't even know who pays the house where you are saying. Mm. <laughs> if you are thrown out to the streets, you can't even fill that toy. What am I saying? If you come under a grace and you decide, now, now listen, not that many of you cannot become leaders. Praise the Lord. Now, when, when Minister John came back, he has a vision, he has a ministry within him. And I told him when the time comes, I will set you apart. I will anoint you. I will put oil on you. I say, now you are the senior pastor. Even me, I can only share your flyer. Now pastor them. Now lead them. Now guide them. Now let them follow you. You understand? When your time to shine comes, you are the man. But that time never comes until you bury your vision. Don't think these people that are sitting here, they cannot preach. But if you never die for another man's vision, you will never raise genuine people. You will never. Many of you don't know I've been an interpreter. And all the time, my spiritual father will come to town. He had never even heard me preach. One day he was, they were preparing a meeting. They said, who is going to take the offerings? Because he had never heard me preach. I wasn't interested. Because my role is not to prove to him that I'm a minister. He doesn't need a minister. He needs a son. Tell your neighbor, it is not always about you. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Let me put it this way. How many of you, you know many of you have not followed the history of Sinach very well. Pastor Chris Oyakilome is one of the most strict pastors you'll ever find on this earth. When he was raising them, they were never allowed to sing anywhere. They were never allowed to go anywhere. If there was no meeting, sit down. Because he didn't want them corrupted. Until if you listen to the songs of Sinai, there are messages of Pastor Chris. Just listen to Pastor Chris and listen to Sinai's messages, songs, they are written. Actually, she was being interviewed. She said, I compose my songs as my man of God is teaching. Let me ask you a question. How many music ministers worship at Lakewood Church? When you are invited to Lakewood Church, do you still talk about the number of CDs you have produced? Do you carry them in the box? How many of you know Lakewood Church? When Americans begin to sing, I know who I am. She single-handedly bought her man of God a private jet. He should tell you her level. Because someone commanded her to die to her own dream and desire because the man wanted to expose her. It was from the platform of Christ embassy that she became what she is today. What sees Pastor Chris saw her and that anointing on that man of God rubbed on her music. Her music is not ordinary. Why? She was willing to sit and kill her vision. Now she is a queen by herself. She has been released now to go around. She comes home when she wants sits Because now it, has, it is her turn to shine. But you will be amazed when there is night of bliss. She is still there with the choir. What am I saying? If you will choose not to make it about you. There is no telling how far you will go. But let me tell you, the season of dying is not easy. Because you have a message, it doesn't mean when you are growing under ministry, you cannot preach, you cannot travel, you cannot fulfill the assignment of God. But I'm giving you a secret. If you make that work you've been given, if you, if you make it about the boss and not about you, you'll never pray for promotion. Just pretend you are so stupid you are not even seeing his weaknesses. Unless he asks you, what do you think? I think I've made a mistake. He says, yes, sir. It's a mistake, sir. I think we could have done this. Always watching him. In politics, that is how it happens. No matter how good you are, sir, you can win an election, but you cannot become a president.
in Africa, winning an election and becoming a president are two different things. Be careful how you campaign. Because election, you will win. But who will give an arrogant man a sword? If you are my son and I know you are dangerous and you are praying, Papa, if you die, you, you are will. I'm the one to ride the will. Nita kuachia panya zote zikuwa zinatusumbu wapu kwa bomu. Nyuntaweka kwa will. So, it is important that no matter how good you are, make it about the other person. Make it about the other person. You will make your work easy. You will dodge missiles that could have eliminated you. Because people are watching you. Look at Elisha the prophet. Elisha made it about Elijah. The man forgot everything and was washing hands. The other sons of the prophets were not happy with that thing. They kept telling him, do you know that he'll be taken? He said, I know, but shut up. There are those who are following Elijah with ill motives, but Elisha died for the man's vision. When the man left, who do we remember? Elisha. Now back to soul winning. Just make it about the other person. In marriage, if you make it, if you, if you stop thinking about when you'll be happy and always think about how the other person should be happy, mama, you'll be happy. You can't make a woman happy and not be happy. And you can't do good to a man and he fails to praise you. Shida ni akwamba, we ulingia kwa hindo wa kana kwamba ni contract. Juzi ume nunulia mama yako viyatu. Nejwa ni mekua ni kiangaliatu. Nikiona ni kama utanipatia kwa kakitu mipi ya nunue yangu. Na naona kama ulu. Ukiwe uko hivo. This is a contract where now you unadai. You're not taking care of me anymore. Mtaka niende wapi. I'm very frustrated. You're not taking care of me. Something has gone wrong. It is about the other person. Women. And you know it is very hard to make it about the other person. Especially when you feel you have been unfairly treated as a human being. Death, therefore, is treating the other person well, no matter how you feel. When you magnify someone else, your light will never be dimmed. It is the joy of marriage. It's about serving the other person. You come into a relationship today, and a man realizes you never talk about what you are looking for. You just ask, how is your mom? You may not even be feeling good. Najua wengine ni makurutu hapa, ni kuruku. Jaribu tu kujilazimisha. Najua unatafutanga kile utapata. Lakini kuanzea leo, wacha kutafuta kile utapata. Nataka ufanye hii experience. Upanye hii experiment. Mwuzi, how is your mom? Did, have you talked to your mom? How is your dad? And what about that your brother you told me has not gone to school? You people are doing a fans drive. Did you realize enough money that, you know, but I'm back 17. So I'll give you seven. Ah, how? No, honey, I didn't want it to look like a... No, 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 it's okay. What ails you ails me? The master, eh? Kwa hii generation ya wakora, kuna uli anasikia uchungu yangu. Hallelujah. Wewe yata kama mzea na kufa. Hei, enda tu tafute, enda utafute. And when when I'm with Zakwa, I'm tafta. Jikaze tu kam. When I'm with Nikujituma, I'm too anakufa. Oh, I say that we end up. To takula aje usimuki kapa. To tak. Ah, when was the last time you told him that he no? Sit down. You've worked so hard. No, you know I've been saving this money. No, sit down. I guess it's time you need to rest. I know you like this and you like this. Ah, my wife. When I'm Mzea naanza kupona mahali ya mekaa. Hey, hey, nipatia ni yeyo chai. Kohozi na pungusa. Lakini wewe, even when a man is dying. Mwana ume ni kujituma. Ukikoho hapo, taza zitu, taenda wapi. <laughs> Somebody say, Aah! Make it about the other person. It's not about you. And let me bring the same secret to our work with God. If you make it about God and his kingdom and not about you, Quisha. Matthew 6.33 <laughs> Do you know, oh man, I've had the privilege to relate with people and I can tell you the truth. This is one of my secrets.
You know, you look at that crusade in Bungoma, right? People brought me some money Sunday night. You know, I still looked at that money and I'm saying this live because my son is listening. Say, Pastor, come. You need this money. Take this. The habit of spiritual fathers is to collect everything. I preached in Mombasa for Pastor Isaac. All the offerings, the tithes, everything that came in that meeting. I told him, take. Take care of your family. Pay your bills. Does it mean God will not bless me? After everything, I should have said, bring everything here. I took good money. I gave Pastor Chris, I said, son, take this. Take your wife somewhere after such a big crusade. And your family, go and rest. It's not always about me. What I, you, you can't give me what I'm looking for. You don't have it yet. Ukiwa tuna habit ya kusanya sadaka every time. One day utasanya na wanguka hapo ukiwa na unasanya. Utakufia tu hapo. Haita kutosha. Pesa haitoshi. Wei kazi yako ni kusanya vitu kwa mwanaume. Mesanya mawa. Valentine. Mbaka sasa kuna wengine. When an occasion is nearing like Valentine. Any man in your life anaza kuwa na high blood pressure. Na teno na muambia last time uleta mawa. Na ilikuwa tu mawa tu. Na kuna wale hawa kupata mawa alijinulia. So this time add something to it. Some dinners is not bad. In a five star, you even know a five star hotel. In a five star hotel, something like that. Some cash gift is not bad. Some nice dress, some shoes, some chocolates. Weo umekua mungu lazima uabudiwe na gifts. Who do you think is a fool that will always be giving? Be giving and your work is collecting. Collecting. And say, thank you. Thank, see your mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Emoji tingeo. Run away from women who know all emojis. Shikina unatuma mbaka mwanaume na uliza yon diyo gani? Una explain. You graduated from the school of emoji. You know how to donate them. Even when it is the birthday of a man that you honor, you must donate emoji. Several emojis are flags of nations. You have already given your seed. Jesus said, we read together. Kosa wacha marajo adwa. Himisema vibaya. Padada bado tuko. Na leo kwani pasia li tuamukia. Kwani mama li mkosea. Ndiya kuja tuzome. Unajua mtu mkorofi ni mkorofi. Look at how you are turning the message. Kwani mama li mkosea kitu. Ndiya kuja tuzome hivo. Because you are waiting for me to go into details. How good mama has been to me. I will not go into that. Because you are not blind. You have been sitting here. You know. Amen. Talk to a sister. Tell her it is not always about you. I'm giving you tips that will make you a wife that cannot be avoided. Are you an improvement to anybody's life? Since a man began dating you, you cannot sleep well. Because every day you have one special need. And you know how to present them. And you are very manipulative. You are how to answer so that he can know there's a problem. Till the need is met. Thank you. Thank you. A thousand kisses. Those are the things you are donating. Through emojis. A thousand kisses. Receive my hugs. The man is already on his way. Because your mother did not teach you me, I will teach you. My mother told me, her mother taught her how to live with a man. That's how he lived with my father all those years. And many of you, you have not been taught because you think you are exposed. If your mother wants to talk to you, you shout, you run. Now I have caught you. I will teach you. Mwanaume, wish na mwanaume ivo. The things you keep demanding could be the reason you will not see him again. Men hate being controlled. It is natural within them. Even if the man is a billionaire, sir, he needs gifts. He needs gifts. No relationship can be one way. Very lame. Socks. 
na, <laughs> na chocolate socks za red kwanza na chocolate alafu na rap vizuri alafu namwambia hani close your eyes surprise soksi <laughs> now there are also cases pastor of men the wives are financially stable and the wives bless them i know a lot of things i'm a pastor the woman has bought the house the woman educates the children the woman does everything because the man has no job sasa ya me graduate uko kukatu hivyo ya kwamba he doesn't have mwana ume hujikakamua ya kwamba hata kama kumbe ulikuwa na panga unajua by september i want to surprise this woman she has been doing all this i want her to shed tears that if, do you know that even if you don't have there's a way you live with a woman that she feels you are not a liability she knows my husband really tries for us i know he doesn't have of course there are marriages where the woman has more than the man the woman is kind of graced more than the man but you must seek to ensure this woman does not think in her head that you forgot about thinking about provision ati mama nadu kanali eliti kadanua ngigi moka nilikuwa nataka kwenda kunyoa david naweza nikapata kitu hapo hiyo mwanamke anakupatia mpaka pesa ya kunyoa ndefu na hii iwezi tosha gazeti gazeti pia nilikuwa nataka nichukue hapo gazeti unasoma ya nini a cast like you that needs to be broken sasa huyu pasa na pasa kama huyu anaongelesha watu I'm, I'm, I'm doing both sides because it's never about you you can go out of your way even in your nothingness let me give you an example you know i always desire to give mama gifts we didn't have it was difficult so nikaona nika, kuna kasweta ilikuwa imetoka enzi hiyo ilikuwa is it polo neck or whatever and and I, ladies were wearing it mimi nikatafuta mtumba but i couldn't pay for it at once nikalipa pole pole hapo dandora stage 41 nikanunua material ya the kind of skirt i wanted nikaweka somewhere secretly as a surprise nikatafuta viatu it took me almost 3 months to buy those things viatu yenye nafanana nikaweka pamoja the day i put them together and i brought them as a surprise she cried she said i know you don't have how did you buy this and she kept telling me i'm okay you must not do all this i'm fine she knew it was a struggle not that we had so you have no excuse as a man that say anajua hatuna is always a hauna na ulikula ugali na matumbo ugali matumbo saa saba uliingia kwa ya kukula ugali matumbo hezi kosa unasema tumbo yango yenye nitakufa dada hai hiyo siwezi ngoja siwezi ngoja let me give you another example one time there's a, a man of god called nicolas odur and many of you could know him they called me for lunch somewhere and i went for that lunch and uh, there's a long tomboy avenue there at tomboya street karibu na interfina house hapo hapo chini kulikuanga na mahali walikuwa wanatengeneza grilled chicken back those days so i'm called for lunch i realized that day we didn't have anything in the house niliacha tu watu wako hivyo mtoto mchanga na mama you know two little babies when they brought that food i told them mine package it I can't eat alone. Package mpaka na ugali. Tukuongezea ugali ngine package na ugali pia. I saw tears in the eyes of a man of God. I told him I'm going to eat with me. He said no no man of God I'll give you money. I said no. I'll carry the food and you give me money also. Nikaingia nayo kwa matatu. Because that is the nature of a man. Nitashiba aje na wale hawajakula. Niliwaacha hivyo. In fact from the after I packaged the chicken and the ugali I lost peace. The man was talking my 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 mind was not there my mind was at home He said man of god we, they wanted to bring me into a certain crusade I told him yes you have my yes but me I'm going They gave me money I felt strong as a man as I carried my chicken and the money they gave me because I know tonight we will eat we are fine and I'm not eating alone when I brought it home mama cried again I said you mean you didn't eat the way you left you came back I said we eat together It's not about how much it's about the value that you is about making it be about the other person If you make it about the other person she will make it be about you 
when she began that business unajua ilikuwa ka nyumba kadogo hivi umoja karibu na Dilux Plaza I'll never forget nyumba ya carton the wall was partitioned by carton mabati chini mabati juu machine ya 2500 shillings na viraka that's all she could do me viraka viraka looking at us they say oh my goodness namsaidia kubeba hizo viraka tunapeleka chini no shame juni namwasaidia kuokota tunapanda juu have never been ashamed of what my wife does that's why she can die for the gospel make it about the other person sometimes i would go to preach we had no ministry no church nothing and the bible says those who don't preach the gospel should not eat those who preach the gospel should eat or leave from the gospel so which means you eat you are preaching so i will go for ministry i had sometimes a time came my shirt was so worn out because any time i am given an offering i think about mama you said you can bring some materials for your business this is all that i from day one back those days if i get money the first person who knows how much it is it is my wife hapo umekaliwa wewe endelea kutokaliwa si unaona vile una progress hayo uko na wanawake watatu endelea kutokaliwa that doesn't make me a perfect man when you make it about the other person you will not demand honor I tell her this until one day she told me no we are not putting this in business go on i can talk. even when we were in dandora we always had vision to shop in buruburu tukaingia matatu number 36 tukaenda kununua shati ya orange checked na trousers nikapima ikatosha mmeona hiyo picha mahali nikapima ikatosha i always love check shoes ukaenda tukatafuta hizo viatu akaniambia yes now you know it is not always everything you get for now we can survive as a family you also need to dress hela upimie suti likonga na mtu ananishonea suti pale huruma karibu na mtu hapo koti imewekwa blanketi ukivaa na kaudi ya baguku unakaa ndege anataka kuruka nikashona ya white na trousers imeka ime, iko hapo juu haipiki kwa kiatu <laughs> and i used to tie my trousers here na hakuna tumbo ya kufunga long na nikaivuta mpaka hapa na nimenyoa box akaniambia you are the most handsome husband ever on this earth somebody say hallelujah I felt like I can sing that song. I feel like I can fly. I was flying already with my box, no buttocks, no stomach. The trousers is here. The trousers cannot reach down. Somebody shout hallelujah because a man met a woman that believes in him. And it is not always about the other about you. It's about the other person. Somebody says it's about the other person. I'm giving you this pastor that's how we have grown until today. Me question my wife over money over what? It was never there in the first place. It is our money. I still prefer driving those small cars in the family. You know. Naambia mnie muniache hiyo. That's mine. That's I love that. Listen. Till you build it to a place where it's about the glory of the other person. The glory you give is the glory that comes back to you. Wewe unaendesha Range Rover Sports Latest. Gari ya mke wako. Mama tuthi ni kwiki njim toko 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 toko. Gari yako ukifinya tu button hivi kiti natembea. Ya mama anajifinya na toko toko toko. Punishing a woman in the name of marriage. And then you ask her how many women drive. Toshaka na hiyo. Mama anavuruta mafuta na mdomo. Mama anajua kuvuta mafuta. Survivor in the marriage. Na wewe yako ni just Hata mama anajua gari yako. Hii dadi gari yako. Watoto wanajua it is wrong for your children to say gari ya dadi. Ni gari ya dadi. I'm using all these truths to show you one thing. Our salvation is not about us. From the time you are saved is not about you and if you make it about what matters god will make you matter in marriage if you make it about the other person sir the secret to marriage if you want to live forget all these teachings at 17 points on how not to have frictions 
on how to have a marriage on earth. Did you know we've never even pretended in this marriage of ours? Kuna siku tulikuwa ruzana kidogo. Hadassah said, you know our kids now they are growing. Hadassah is very sharp. She came, you know all of us were trying to avoid a particular car because we, you know, when you are you, you feel you are not okay so you don't want to all of us still find now i will not drive that one so hadasa alikuwa natupima mama is not using that car. daddy is not using that car day one day two he came and said daddy why is it that you are not using this car and mama is not using it tough question nikamwambia mommy has offended me i knew i think i'll ask her waited for the mom. mommy why is it did you ask your dad? Dad said you offended him. Because if we pretend before these children right now, we are destroying them. One way to raise your son is to tell your son your weaknesses. Tell him I'm a man. I've gone through some of these things that are tempting you. Tell him the truth. Tell your children the truth. Mama, I know I'm not happy, but anyway, you know I love her. They say, ah, rah, yeah, I know you guys, you just sorted out. It's okay. We just wanted to know they are gone also because it's not none of their business. They found us, the two of us, they leave us. The two. I told mama, if we don't build this thing, these guys are already on their way. Look at how tall they are. Soon we'll remain here, the two of us, it will be boring. So we better build this thing. These guys are on their way. So tell them the truth. Tell them the truth, I'm not fine. Stop all these pretense for social media. So as you can see, I'm going to make a picture on Facebook. I'm going to make a picture on Facebook. Hi. <laughs> you are lying. Sometimes people disagree. Where can you appear on social media? Like now I'm telling you the truth. Then learn how to be the beggar in the marriage. Even if you are the one that is wrong. So that evening you kitu kanisumbua. Najua nilikosewa. Kume wacha until mama akaanza kunisomea makosa zangu. Do you know that any time you call a meeting with a woman, be very careful you have all the points correct. Because kuna zingine ujashika vizuri. So nikatolewa hii, nikatolewa kasa, oh, I see you kwa nimeona hii. Kasema, okay, in that case, I'm so, I'm sorry. And I called the children and said, you see, now I'm asking your mother to forgive me. And she's not forgiving me. Waka cheka, waka enda. Yo kitu ili ishanga hivu. Build a marriage like that. You have nobody to impress. Don't have social media marriage and private marriage. Hallelujah. Sometimes you are just low. <laughs> it happens. But where will you, will you perfect smile? Hi everybody. <laughs> and you are dying. <laughs> Somebody say hey. <laughs> so as I wind up, if you make it about the other person. Now, as we deal with God, get me well. If you make it about God, question. That is what soul winning is about. Soul winning is about making it about God. Lord, I know I have so many needs. But seek ye first. Somebody say first. Kauja sema vizuri, sema first. Kuku ikiwa kadogo, fikiria mama na mtoto kwanza. Siyo kurarua kuku katikati. Paka mama dia nasema, inajua mana ume dia nakula nyingi, mama na watoto wana kuongeze. We ni mwana ume ya inagani. And when you live a sacrificial life, where you make it about the other person, they will seek to die for you. And I want to tell you, there's a way God can do anything for a man that has made it be about him and his kingdom. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Now can you give me those that favor his righteous cause? Those that favor his righteous cause. No good thing will he withhold from them. Those that favor his righteous cause. Those that favor the Lord's righteous cause. In other words, those that give themselves for the Lord's assignment. You may not feel like it, but you give yourself for it. You may not want it at that time, but you decide God first. The assignment of the Lord first. I'm not feeling like it, but because it is of God, God first. Those that favor is like you are doing a favor to God's assignment. 
soul willing is that thing. If you want God to preserve your soul, go beyond, I must receive my miracle today. Nothing wrong with you receiving your miracle. But there are miracles that will come to you not because you received them. There's 80,000 coming that you didn't pray for. Mungu amefanya mtu ameangalia vile umehubiri kwa crusade akasema ah basi nimekutumia soda. Wengine hapa hata bolgam. Mm. Hata peremende. Mm. You are just wicked like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say I will win souls. Raise your hands again and say Lord mahali naishi kuna mtu hakujui. Pale nafanya kazi kuna mtu hakujui. Hata kama mimi si muhubiri Bwana baada ya kusikiza mafundisho haya lazima mtu atakuja kwa ufalme kupitia mikono yangu I must become a soul winner Did I tell you that during my birthday this coming Sunday we are going to have live bands performing here it's going to be beautiful it's going, it's going to be about Jesus we are going to have powerful worship and above all I'm believing God for souls into the kingdom of God but the yangu, the greatest donation you can ever give me, all of you seated here, is to ensure that on Sunday, ata kama unalipa weo mwenye dhambi, ata kama kisema, ninulie chupa moja ya pombe, ndiyo tuende kanisani, mununulie, muambie, hii Sunday, kuja, kuna keki ya bure, kuna chakula ya bure, kuna dance ya bure, you are my garama, nilete tu mwenye dhambi, asikize injili. Because after Sunday, next week, we are at Masai Lodge, with Rongai Jesus Crusade. I want to win souls for God. Can somebody say amen? amen. Sasa kabla iyo, 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 kabla iyo crusade, magari zenu zote naenda kubandika posters. Na ungangano. Najua ungangano kutuwa ni ngumu. Itabandika mbaga kwa screens. How many of you are saying, Pastor, bandika kwa gari yangu? Hallelujah. Bandika kwa gari yangu. Why? So, you have ten cars, you have five cars. We are going to make noise in this city. About Jesus. And then we are there for three days. Mungu akitupatia hata a hundred souls. We are good to go. There's a daughter of mine here that graduated uh, from, is it uh, police college or something? Is she around in the house? Ulikuwa kwa, was it police college or something? Ulintumia uki umevangu za askari danini mukiwa training. Are you in the house? Should be Judy or something. Those in the hospitality may be knowing her. Who knows who I'm talking about? She, was that Police college or something, county government, they graduated, they were being trained. Who knows who I'm talking about? Anybody in the hospitality? Okay. She told me, Alikuwa na Peter, if she comes, please let me know. Alikuwa na Peter, kwa ile crusade ya muisho, ya rongai Jesus crusade. I said, what is going on here? What the hell? She stopped there. That was it. I will ask about her in the main service. Remember, remind me. She could be in the main service and followed the Lord. Brought our family to church and they are serving God. Why? Because we went out for soul. It's not always about you. I've tried to make my birthdays not be about me, but about the kingdom. You want to live long? Shift this thing from you. Now, the whole of this month, I'm going to be teaching on soul winning in the first service. If you want to see God win other people, forget your trouble. You want to see generosity that Paul saw. Forget about yourself. There's a lady waiting for you. And niliambia wa dada, wengine mwenye utaolewa nae, pegine bada na kunywa. Anangojia uingia po na Bible. Bwana asifiwe, hallelujah, kumbe bwana hako ndia mekapu. Tu anasema, hey pastor, yo ikaitu. There's a sister that was in her preps with her Bible. And that day, the thieves were very desperate. They jumped into the preps in high school. They stole anything that they could steal. And they ended up stealing this sister's Bible. So the man that stole the Bible eventually got saved. And as God would have it, ended up marrying the girl whose Bible was stolen. But they never discussed that story. So one day the man was giving a testimony. Mimi nilikuwa jambazi. 
Siku moja tukaenda kuiba kwa shule. Nikabeba Biblia. The wife said, "Honey, so you are the one that stole my Bible." You can imagine she had a Bible to be stolen and on top of the Bible she got married. Because if your Bible can be stolen, you can get married. Some of you not even a Bible to be stolen. Bag yako imejaa viatu imevaa hama. Imenyundo iko ndani ya bag. Imebeba brush ya kupaka rangi iko ndani ya bag hapo. Somebody said that women always have a plan B. If you want to think it's a joke, every woman has two pairs of shoes as she is walking. Hiyo bag ukitoa kuna viatu zingine hapo na zingine amevaa. But no Bible. But his sister had a Bible there. Now, Psalm 35 verse 27, I tell your neighbor, make it about God. Make it about God. Let it be about God. Let it be about, oh boy, my time. Let it be about God. Look at this. Let it be about God. Let them shout for joy. Say it together with me. Let them shout for joy. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in what pastor? In the prosperity of the man that favors his righteous cause. Good news translation. It means, dear pastor, that when you favor what God is doing, you prosper. Mungu alisema watakuwa na furaha. Kwa sababu gani? Mzigo yao si maisha yao. Mzigo yao ni kazi yangu. Mzigo yao ni njia zangu. Mzigo yao nipate kujulikana. Do you know how much money I spend for souls? Do you know yesterday I had 27 souls on radio? Born again. Some of them I may never meet them, but one day God will make it possible for me to meet them. They get born again, I send them to other churches. Where are you? I'm in certain place. Sometimes I give my pastors, advise them the correct, correct church to join. Let them join. Because my assignment, sio mtu mwenye atanipatia tithe. My goal is wakiingia huko na asimame. Maybe one day I'll meet him when he's a governor. And he'll be, do you know your radio ministry is what led me to Christ? So many have known the Lord. Why? Through that radio ministry. Many of you came to know God because of radio ministry. How many of you came here by radio and ended up getting saved? Radio ilikuleta na ukaenda hapo kaokoka. Ina mkono juu. Raise your hands like this. Look at that. Tukiwa binguni kila mwanamke uliguza pia atakuwa behind you. And it is your wife who will be asking you who is that that has joined the line. <laughs> Mimi si kusema. <laughs> Hallelujah. Na wale uliongoza kwa toba watakuwa crown yenye nameremeta look at this may those who want to see me acquitted shout for joy and say again and again how great is the lord he is pleased with the success of his servant god is happy when his servant is successful message translation look at this but those who want the best for God, let them have the last word. I love that. Yakwamba, if you want the best for God, you'll always have the last You know what it means to have the last word? What you say is what will stand. Ukisema unataka Range Rover, mungu anasema, okay, tick. Ukisema, I want a marriage that will not give me hell. God says, tick. You always have the last word. Ukisema this time next year, nataka niwe nimemaliza nyumba yangu, na nimeingia ndani, God puts a tick. Okay? You always have the last word. Why? Because you want the best for God. Do you know we can do a crusade without hizo madoido zote tuliweka bungoma? We can stand on top of a table and preach. What about what okoka? But we want the best for God. Tunataka watu wakipita, wazisema hui ni mubiri gari ya mechanganyikiwa hapa. Waulize what is happening? Hey, we want the best for God. Makosa hile liki alifanya, mkutano ikaisha, 
Like akakimbia kwenda ku bookshop tu. Na Pastor Simon. Nilisema nitawa expose tu mbele ya watu na Pastor. So nikawapigia simu nikawauliza, "Where are you?" Wakasema ati papa, "We have already booked shuttle. We are just waiting to board." I said, "No problem. Board your shuttle and go." <laughs> Minister John took his time. He asked me, "Papa, how are we traveling?" I said, "No problem. I'm going to greet my mother. Then I come. I have planned that all of us enter Kenya Airways." Like na Simon, Pastor Simon, they thought they are very smart. Wako na haraka. Walichoma shuttle mpaka Nairobi. Even ndivyo tiketi yao ilienda tu hivyo. Somebody say amen. Because I want the best for people that serve God. Every wonder a time will come we'll do crusades overseas. Utaona Los Angeles Jesus crusade. We'll take a big dome there and mobilize for six months and land in America. Niliambia hili kitu kienda Los Angeles tafadhali usikimbie kwenda kutafuta shatu. Kwa maana haitafika Kenya. Somebody say hey! Why I want the best for those that serve God. One time you travel with me to a crusade pastor I'll pay you a ticket business class. I want you to see another version of serving God. We go for Ghana Jesus crusade pastor I put you in first class. You know first class when you enter there there's a bed. There's a small bathroom. There's a big screen. You not know you're in the plane. You have strictly one muzungu that serves you. Good morning sir. Hiyo juice hujawahi na dunia hii. Good morning sir. Utasema ndio papa anaenda kuni sacrifice ama hii ndio. Somebody say hey! But those that want the best sir god knows in my heart before i die one day i want the best for the things of god hallelujah sio kutumikia mungu kana kwamba alitupanish those who want the best for me let them have the last word a glad shout and say over and over god is great everything works together for good for his servant if you serve god everything will work together for a servant of God make it about other people we are not only called to fill a church we are called to populate heaven wacha watu waokoke hata wale hawatakuja kanisani wacha waokoke it is a joy when every ministry grows in this town watu wakiokoka 1000 nisikie 100 wameingia kwingine 100 wengi you think god is stupid no you want the best for god you will have the last raise your hands and say i will be a soul winner nimeona liki akiuliza na hiyo sasa hiyo pesa hiyo mzee sasa hiyo ticket unaonaje you know the next turn now ni atimona hawa watu wengine bwana yesu asifiwe sana you will not serve god with me and have a reason to despise serving god because god wants the best for those that serve him those that win souls what do i say sunday will have a great celebration the bands will play here Some great guys are coming over. We will have good music here on Sunday. Just celebrating the fact that a man was born to win souls. And I beg you, all of you that are here. Hata kama utalipa walevi watatu. Napenda walevi. Kuna mlevi akiokoka ameokoka. I need one soul from you. We'll share the credit. Mbinguni tutashare crown. I want to preach to a sinner on my birthday. 24th of July I want to lead someone to Christ. After that we have the Rongai Jesus Crusade. After that we are going to Kiserian Jesus Crusade. We are going to saturate this region by what Jesus Jesus Jesus. And as that is happening, wengine mtapokea malori kwa sababu ya road show, Mungu atawapatia mabuses, God will bless you with the transport vehicles, Mungu atawapatia promotions mahali mnafanya kazi, mtakuwa na hela nyingi kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu umekuwa daraja ya kufikia wengi na injili ya ufalme. It's never about Mori Solo, let's make it about Jesus and those that favor his righteous cause. Pigie Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Pastor Victor come and release us this morning. My time is far much spent. Pff, 
Let's put our hands together and celebrate our Father. Let's put our hands together and celebrate our Father for the wonderful, wonderful, powerful message that has come forth. Hallelujah. You can do better than that. You can put your hands together and celebrate this with your Father. You can celebrate it better than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. What a wonderful message.